Hello class. Uh, so before we left, we talked about the European Impressionist, um, and now we're going to talk about uh, the American Impressionist and some contemporary painters that paint in an Impressionistic style. American Impressionism was inspired by European Impressionism. It began a little bit after its European uh, variant, and these American artists had seen shows that had traveled from Europe to America, and some of these American artists had also traveled to Europe to study with European artists. And American Impressionism shared many aspects uh, with its European counterparts, and this included its loose brushstrokes, and attention to the momentary effects of light, and also a similar subject matter, the depiction of the everyday. Uh, so one of the key artists in the American movement was William Merritt Chase. Um, he was an American artist and also an art teacher, and his later paintings would adopt Impressionism style. And when you look at this picture to the right at the seaside, you know, consider you know, maybe how it's a little different uh, than some of the paintings that we had looked at before. Um, and I believe one of the differences is that there's a little bit less use of optical color mixing in this. The marks are a little bit more blended into each other. Here's another work by William Merritt Chase, and I would say this one has a bit of a more earthy palette than we're used to with the European Impressionists. Here's another work by Chase called A Sunny Day at Shincock Bay. Another American Impressionist is Child Hassam, um, and this is an artist who uh, painted many urban and coastal scenes as well as many scenes of New York City. Okay. Here's one called Avenue in the Rain, and this one's in the Oval Office. Okay, here's one late afternoon, New York winter. I'd like to talk about some more recent as well as contemporary painters uh, who work in an impressionistic style. Um, one of these artists is Jane Freilicker. Uh, she was an American painter who made observational based paintings of the everyday. And I wouldn't consider her an impressionist per se, uh, but her way of working is inspired by the impressionists. And this is Russian Olive 2. And I would say one of the differences here with the Impressionists is that there's less use of optical color mixing. The paint application is a little flatter. Okay, You're not seeing as much of the different color marks that are placed next to each other to create a new color. I mean, maybe somewhat in the bushes, uh, but definitely not here and or here. Okay, But some of the similarities is her process. Uh, she's painting from observation. She's also painting the everyday. Here's another example of her work in broad daylight. Okay, and right here we can see an attention to the qualities of light. Um, and an interest that was shared with Impressionists. Here's my cubism. And poppies and peonies. So now let's take a look at Francis Sills. This is an American painter uh, who works in Charleston, South Carolina, who likes to paint urban and natural landscapes. And this is another artist who works in an impressionistic style, but isn't an impressionist per se. Like they weren't involved with the European or American impressionism movements. But you can see some similarities uh, with those movements, in particular in these two paintings. You can see the use of these impressionistic marks, these kind of short, broken marks. Um, there's not not too much blending going on here. Here you can see even some optical color mixing. A lot of these marks are placed next to each other. The mix in the eye. Some differences I would say come about in the variety of marks that are used. Um, and especially some of these are looking quite expressive. The reason I wanted to show you. Um, these contemporary Impressionistic painters uh, was to show you the impact that the Impressionism movement has had on contemporary painting. And although there's not many artists that paint in a way that is the same as the original Impressionists, um, their effect can still be seen in contemporary painting.